everyone. My name is Jordan Stanley, and I'm a sophomore at the University of New Hampshire. This semester, I've had the privilege of interning at Project 351, which I've actually been a participant in since eighth grade. One of our partnerships, and an important role as part of my role as an ambassador journey and playbook fellow, is with the Boston Celtics and is called the Playbook Initiative. This is an anti-bias, anti-discrimination workshop for middle school students led by high school trainers from Project 351. I watched TED Talks all my life, but never thought I'd have the confidence, ability, or opportunity to give one. The thought of this was quite daunting at the beginning of this semester for many reasons. However, a few weeks ago, I traveled with my colleague Alex to a high school in Mattapoisett to assist their students in running a playbook workshop, not for middle schoolers, but for their faculty as part of a professional development day. I assumed that I would be there in support of their student leaders and handing out materials in the background while Alex did the talking. As someone who could hardly imagine herself in living in Boston last semester, speaking in front of 60 teachers and administrators was not anywhere on my list of things I thought I would be capable of doing. We spent the car ride over, of over an hour chatting about the Moose Sox, making an awesome playlist, and of course, stopping for Duncan's. But nowhere did we strategize for the day ahead. When we finally arrived at the school, we met with the head of guidance. Alex casually explained to her that he would start, then pass the mic to me to talk about my experiences and work with Playbook and engage the educators in the program. I had no choice but to wing it. When the time came to stand in front of the faculty, my hands were shaky and my palms were sweating, but I knew I was capable. I also knew that my perspective mattered. We were advised that the school's faculty was sensitive on topics in DEI and would not respond well if we used terms such as bias and discrimination, yet students were experiencing this on a daily basis. I don't really remember much of what I said, but upon sitting back down, Alex gave me a fist bump and whispered, I'm so expletive, proud of you. <laughs> the truth is, I was really proud of myself too. Not only for getting up there and speaking at all, but for winging it and winging it well. Alex knew that I needed that extra push, and I believe that push has made me a better public speaker. Throughout the next couple weeks, there were times I needed to speak in front of others without extensive preparation, but I wasn't nervous anymore, and just thought to myself, if I could do that, I could definitely do all of this. Thank you. <laughs>